The Argentines call these rocky islands the Malvinas, and they say they are a part of Argentina. Britain calls them the Falklands, and has considered them English since 1830. The islands are about 750 kilometers off the coast of Argentina. It is mostly a giant sheep farm, but with oil exploration about to start there, the territorial dispute over the islands has intensified once again. A giant oil drilling rig has arrived from Scotland, and this has galvanized nearly all Argentines who say not only are the islands Argentine, so is the oil. Clearly it's one of the, the, the most uh, uh, sentimental issues in the country. Uh, uh, a, a war was fought over them uh, uh, recently, uh, at least less than a generation ago. Uh, people died there, and, and so it, it's a very patriotic issue. I would say that it's very hard in Argentina to say that you don't care about Malvinas or, 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 or not to pay attention to them. That war between Argentina and Britain was fought in 1982. The British retained control of the islands, but 28 years later the wounds in that war are still raw. In front of the presidential palace here in Buenos Aires, there are still dozens of banners erected by Argentine veterans. This one reads, Never Forget, and the Malvinas are Argentine and a memorial pays tribute to the 649 Argentine soldiers who died in the war. But the Falklands War is as much about history and anger as it is about politics. This is Argentina's presidential palace, the Casa Rosada, and the statements coming from President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner over the past two weeks have become increasingly strident. While the president's exact motives are unclear, there are many here who believe that her motives are indeed simply political. Sometimes we use these uh, diplomatic escalation in order to uh, channel outside the country uh, internal problems. Mm. Whatever the president's motives, the Argentine foreign ministry has maintained a hard line and it seems to be getting even harder. Argentina is enlisting UN and regional support, but as the United Kingdom presses ahead, relations between the two countries may only get worse. Richard Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.